Welcome to Lil John's Yarns. Today, I'm going to teach you how to crochet this Pan-African Tam, also known as an oversized slouchy penny. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We'll hop right into the video. Today, we're going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, and I'm using some Red Heart Super Saver yarn in the colors red, black, and green. We'll begin by making a magic ring. And we will chain two. One, two. Your chain two does not count as a double crochet or a stitch. We're going to place 12 double crochet into the ring. One, two, and three. I'll meet you at the completion of your 12 stitches. We've completed our 12 double crochet into the ring and now we're going to slip stitch the join into the very first double crochet. Not the top of your chain two. Not your chain two but the top of your double crochet right here. Chain two. One, two. Remember this does not count as a stitch. We're going to place two double crochets in each stitch around. So one and two into the same space. Next stitch, place two double crochet. One, two. Next stitch, two double crochet. one and two. We're going to continue to place two double crochet in each stitch around. I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, we've completed that row and we're going to slip stitch to join into the very first double crochet. So right at the top of your stitch here. Chain two one, two. Place one double crochet into the very same stitch. Place two double crochet into the next. One, two. Place one double crochet into the next stitch. and two into the next. One, two. Place one double crochet into the next stitch and two into the next. One and two. We're going to repeat this pattern all the way around by placing one double crochet, then two double crochets into the next stitch all the way around, and I'll meet you back at the other side. We have made it back around, and that is completion of your row three, and we're going to slip stitch the join into the very first double crochet. If you'd like to see more of my patterns, I'm going to leave a link right above right here, so go check those out. Let's continue on. We're going to chain two one, two. Place one double crochet into the same space and one double crochet into the next. Now we're going to place two double crochets into the very next stitch. One, two. Now we're going to repeat this sequence. We're going to place one double crochet into the next two stitches. one, two. Now place two double crochet into the same stitch. One, two. Two double crochet into the next two stitches. I'm sorry. Place one double crochet into the next two stitches. One, 
2, now place 2 double crochet into the same stitch. 1 and 2. I'll show you again. Place 1 double crochet into the next 2 stitches. one and two place two double crochets into the same stitch one and two you're going to repeat this sequence all the way around by placing one double crochet into the next two stitches followed by two double crochet into the same stitch I'll meet you back at the other side we have just completed row um, four, and we're going to slip stitch a join into the very first um, double crochet. Chain two, one, two. Remember, the chain two does not count as a stitch. We're going to place one double crochet into the next three stitches. So double crochet into the same stitch. One next stitch, two, next stitch, and three. And now we're going to place two double crochet into the same stitch. One, two. Now place one double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three. Now place two double crochet into the same stitch. One and two. I'll show you one more time. Place one double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three, place two double crochet into the same stitch. One, two. We're going to repeat this sequence all the way around by placing one double crochet into the next three stitches, followed by two double crochet into the same stitch. I'll meet you at the completion of this row. We've made it back around and we're going to slip stitch to join to complete row five. So slip stitch to join to the very first double crochet. Chain two, one, two. We are going to DC into the next four stitches. So double crochet into the same stitch. One, two, three, and four. Place two double crochet into the next stitch. One. Oop, my camera's getting blurry. Two. Place one double crochet into the next four stitches. One. Two three and four. Place two double crochet into the next stitch. One and two. We're going to repeat this sequence all the way around by placing one double crochet into the next four stitches followed by two double crochet into the fifth. I'll meet you at the completion of this row. We have completed our sixth row and we're going to slip stitch to join into the top of the very first double crochet. Chain two. One, two. We're going to place one double crochet into the next five stitches, including this one. So double crochet into the same space. Oops. One. Next space, two, 
Next pace. Three. Four. And five. Into the sixth space, we're going to place two double crochets into the very same space. One. Same space. And two. We're going to repeat this sequence. Um, sequence. Place one double crochet into the next five stitches. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Now place two double crochets into the same stitch. One and two. We're going to repeat this pattern all the way around by placing one double crochet into the next five stitches and placing two double crochets into the sixth stitch. All the way around, I'll meet you back at the other side. We have made it back around and we're going to slip stitch to join to complete our seventh row. Chain two. One, two. Okay, for row eight, we're just going to place one double crochet in each stitch around. So, double crochet into the very same space. And now let's double crochet in each stitch around. Continue placing double crochets in each stitch and I'll meet you at the completion of your eighth row. We've made it back around and we've almost completed our eighth row but we're going to do the last stitch together because we're going to change colors. So start your um, double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops and we're going to stop right there and we're going to switch colors over to your black yarn. Wrap your yarn around your hook and pull through the last two loops and your colors are changed. Now we're just going to continue and slip stitch to join into the very first double crochet. Okay, chain two, one, two, double crochet into the same space. We're going to repeat the pattern from the previous row by placing one double crochet in each stitch around. I'm, I'm weaving my ends as I go so I don't have to worry about cutting it later. Alright, continue placing one double crochet in each stitch around for a total of seven rows. I'll meet you at the completion of seven rows. Remember, one double crochet in each of your stitch around. Then slip stitch to join at the end of each row for seven more rows. Okay, we completed our seven rows of black and we're going to do our last double crochet together and we're going to change the colors halfway through. I know it's hard to see with this black yarn, but yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. We're going to stop half right there and we're going to change colors over to green. So wrap your green yarn around your hook and pull through the last two loops and your yarn color is changed. And now we're going to slip stitch to join into the very first double crochet. Oops, sorry my strands are all wobbly. It's even hard for me to see with this black yarn. Alright, now let's slip stitch to join. Okay, our color's been changed. Chain two. One, two. We're going to double crochet into the very same space. And we're going to double crochet 
in each stitch across. We're just going to repeat the same um, pattern with this green as we did with the previous row. So for just this row, continue to put one double crochet in each stitch across and I'll meet you at the end of this row. We've made it back around and we're going to slip stitch to join into the very first double crochet. Chain 2. 1, 2. We're going to place one double crochet into the next 5 stitches. So one double crochet into the same stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to double crochet together the next two stitches. So let's double crochet together. double crochet decrease. Alright, now we're going to place one double crochet into the next five stitches again. One, two, three, four, and five. Next, we're going to double crochet decrease the next two stitches. Decrease. We're going to repeat this pattern all the way around by placing one double crochet into the next five stitches followed by a double crochet decrease all the way around. So remember, so one, two, three, four, five, and decrease. I'll meet you back at the other side. We have made it back around and we are going to slip stitch to join into the very first double crochet. Chain two, one, two. We're gonna double crochet into the next four stitches, including this one. So place one double crochet into the same stitch. One, two, three, and four. And now we're going to double crochet decrease. and we're going to repeat that sequence placing one double crochet into the next four stitches one two three four now we're going to double crochet decrease We're going to repeat this pattern all the way around. We're going to place one double crochet into the next four stitches followed by a decrease all the way around and I'll meet you back at the other side. We've made it back around and we're going to slip stitch to join into the very top of the very first double crochet. Alright, now we're going to chain two one, two, we're going to place one double crochet into the next three stitches including this one. So double crochet into the same space. One, two, and three. We're going to double crochet decrease into the next, uh, the next two stitches.
and we're going to repeat this sequence. So place one double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Double crochet decrease. We're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. We're going to place one double crochet into the next three stitches followed by a double crochet decrease all the way around and I'll meet you back at the other side. We've made it back around and we're going to slip stitch to join into the very first double crochet. Chain two. One, two. We're going to double crochet into the next six stitches, including this one. So double crochet into the same stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to double crochet decrease. And we're going to repeat that sequ sequence. We're going to place one double crochet into the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now double crochet, decrease. We're going to repeat this sequence all the way across your hat into the other side by placing one double crochet into the next six stitches followed by a double crochet decrease. I'll meet you at the completion of this row. We've made it back around and we're going to slip stitch to join into the very first double crochet. Chain two. Next we're just going to chain one. We're going to place one half double crochet into each stitch. So place one half double crochet into the same stitch. Remember, we're doing half double crochets now. And a half double crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to put a half double crochet in each stitch around. We're going to do this for a total of two rows. So place one half double crochet in each stitch around, slip stitch to join for a total of two rows. I'll meet you at the completion of your two rows of half double crochet. We've made it back around and we're going to slip stitch to join into the very first half double crochet. Okay, we're getting close to finishing this hat. So chain one and single crochet into the same space. We're going to single crochet into each stitch around for the next two rows. So place one single crochet into each stitch. Place one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. Slip stitch to join um, for a total of two rows. I'll meet you at the completion of your two rows of single crochet. All right, we've made it back around. We've completed those two rows of single crochet, and we're going to slip stitch to join into the very first single crochet. And now you can fasten off your work. And don't forget to weave in all your ends.
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I come out with two new patterns every week. I'll see you guys all on the next tutorial.